Pex. 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 How to work with Pex pipes. Let me explain this quick. So the pipes you cut like with a scissor like knife. Um, let me cut this one. Okay, so I'm going to go in a close up here. There, and then I'm going to position the knife. And I just cut through it. So it gives a relatively great straight cut to it, like this. So they are really easy to cut. That's the point of it. Okay, so the connections are secured with small copper rings. Look at those. Yeah, you can see it's like copper. And those go uh, over the pipe. And there's also another version, also copper, but it looks black. There, let me put this on that side. And then let's show here how this works with the valve, for example. You plug that in, like this, and then you position the rings relatively close to the valve. There, like this. And then you need a tool to compress this copper ring. Okay, this is the tool. This one here. And now I'm going to show you in a in a close-up how the compression works. Okay. So you put the tool over the copper ring and then the tool compresses it. You need like quite a bit of force to do that. Now let's do the other one, here. You have to adjust your valve, and then compress that ring. There we go. Two rings compressed. There's one more step now. To make sure that the compression is successful, you use a gauge. The gauge has markings on it. So for a half inch pipe, it's the center ones, there's one uh, that says no go, here, yeah, half inch no go, and on the other side is half inch go. There it is, half inch go. Now, the half inch go has to fit over it, easy, like this, and the no go has to get stuck, so the no go does not fit. If the no-go fits, then something went wrong. So what does it mean, something went wrong? I'm going to show you. So, you see the ring on its own doesn't fit in the go or no-go. It has to be compressed first. But if you, for any reason, miss the connection, like you just scrimp it on the plain pipe, so it means you are too far back. Then this kind of thing happens. So I'm going to compress this. And then we look at the go and no go gauge. So first the go gauge fits good. Get it out, 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 out. There was a no go gauge. Why is it not in the picture? Holy sh moly. Okay, why am I not in the picture? All right, okay. So there you go, here. Both of them fit. The go fits over it and the no go fits over it. So that means something went wrong and you have to redo that connection. That's why there is a gauge supplied with your tool probably. Okay, so that's how easy it is to work with packs. Nothing can go wrong. It's just a great system. It's cheap. It's perfect.